Hello everyone, it's Wednesday now, um, no one's really got anything to talk about have they? I haven't really got uh, much to say, haven't really been up to much, I, I'm going into work kind of later in the week uh, this time, so yeah I'm just kind of working from my kitchen doing a few meetings on Zoom but nothing really to report so let's get on with our book. Um, chapter 8, A Particularly Noisy Poo I said, what on earth are you doing in there? Came another shout from the other side of the bathroom door. Nothing, lied Ned. Nothing, bawled Jemima. I just heard a volcano, then a load of music. Finally, some kind of giant fish. Slime looked as if it were about to say something. Maybe to correct the girl that technically a whale was not a fish, but in fact a mammal. Ned turned to his friend and put his fingers up to his lips. In the internationally recognised signal for silence. Amazingly, for something made of slime, slime understood. I was just doing a particularly noisy poo, spluttered Ned through the bathroom door. Noisy, she exclaimed, more like thunderous. Now open this door right now or I will boot it down. Bish bash bosh. It was the sound of her steel-capped boots kicking down the door. Open it, said Slime. What? exclaimed Ned. Let's play that trick on her. Now? asked the boy. Bish bash bosh. Splinters of wood exploded into the bathroom. What should I be? asked Slime. A giant boot, perhaps. Boot her right back. Excellent, replied Slime, as it trans-slimed into a giant boot. Bish bash bosh. The bathroom door smashed off its hinges, taking some of the wall with it. The door smashed to the floor, thud, and dust exploded into the bathroom. At once, nobody could see a thing. Ned, bellowed Jemima, where are you? Ned kept silent as the giant slimy boot, or sloot, appeared out of the dust cloud. What the asked Jemima. The girl tried to boot the boot, but her foot got stuck in the slime. Uh, uh, she screamed. Ned couldn't help but chuckle. <laughs> Ned, screamed Jemima, I will boot you up the bottom for this. No, 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 replied the sloot. I will boot you up the bottom. With that, slime let go of the girl's boot. As Jemima tumbled to the floor, she swung her other boot up in the air and landed on her hands and knees. Goodbye for now, said the sloot. It swung back then, boof! The girl was given a blobtastic boot in the bottom. Ah! She yelled as she, bounced, as she bounced down the corridor, swish! Before landing on the sofa in the living room, twong! Instantly, Jemima leaped from the sofa and began stomping down the corridor. Stomp, stomp, stomp! Wait until I get my hands on you, Ned. I'll boot you from here to the next island. We need to get out of here, slime, exclaimed Ned, and fast. But how? asked Slime, now back to being a blob. Ned looked at the tiny bathroom window just above the toilet. It was not much bigger than a cat flap. That is the only way out of here, he said, pointing. But I'm never going to get my wheelchair through there. You won't need it today. Let me be your wings. Wings? The boy was flabbergasted. Slime trans-slimed into a pair of wings. They stuck themselves onto Ned's shoulders and began to flap. Flap, flap, flap. The boy felt himself being lifted out of his wheelchair and floating through the air. Wow, he exclaimed. The wings wouldn't fit through the window, so holding the boy, slime trans-slimed into a slide. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Just before Jemima reached the bathroom, Ned whooshed down the slide and out the window. Whoosh! No! screamed Jemima. But the boy was free. So we'll find out what happens to Ned tomorrow. Uh, stay safe, stay warm. It's not very warm again today, is it? It's quite cold. It's just started raining. Uh, see you soon. <laughs>